Hey, what's up guys, it's Apple Pie Queen, and as you saw in my EGF intro, the game that I'm going to be let's playing is Fire Adventure for the Game Boy Advance. I hope you guys enjoy it. Start a new game. So, we start the game blindfolded naturally because, hmm. Ah, well here at last you can remove your blindfold now. Are you finally going to tell us why I have to wear blindfolds, Professor? <laughs> well, my secret lab wouldn't be a secret if everyone knew where it was. Right, okay. Anyway, I brought you here because I have a couple of great surprises for you. This one is over there. Go ahead and take a look. So, everything in this lab looks mildly suspicious. There's bottles lying all over the place, electric stuff going everywhere. But I guess he will just have a look at this, and, uh, okay, that looks like Ripto. Is this some kind of toy projector? It looks like Ripto looking through the peephole. It is Ripto, that machine is my most important and secret invention. Wait a minute, are you telling us that we were actually looking at Ripto himself? That cannot be safe. Correct, that people is actually a tiny rip in the fabric of space. Jeez, Professor. Well, with this we could always keep a close eye on that crafty Ripto. I can see why you'd want to keep this secret from him. Precisely. Now then, my other surprise is not quite ready to be presented. Why don't you explore my virtual playground while I finish up? Okay. This virtual playground here is actually probably the bane of my existence. This is like the one part of the game that I literally cannot stand. This, this initial virtual playground bit. Uh, okay, let me tell you a little bit more about Spyro's abilities and what you can do. Obviously he can walk around and he has fire abilities, the breath ability, and he can charge. The charge ability is one that you really should not overuse because it can make you fall off a lot and that does get frustrating so just be careful of that. So this is kind of like a virtual professor, I think it's a virtual professor. But Spyro let to practice Spyro skills without fear of getting hit. I guess. Excellent Spyro, your first task Spyro will be to destroy four baskets. Press the B button to use your breath ability on a basket. Good luck Spyro! And thanks, we are going to need it. So, jump up these ledges if we can. Uh, there's one down here, and one here, and a mahusive one there. And yeah, once you finish each challenge, that little kind of sound thing will go off. Well then, Spyro, as far as next task will be to destroy four vases. Vases do not burn, so press R button to charge them. And once again, he wishes us good luck. Damn. Right, here's the bus here. And yeah, when you charge, you're often going to run into things, or at least I'm often going to run into things. And jeez, I almost fell off the edge. In this case, if you fall off the edge, it doesn't matter because you'll just you'll just get um, redirected back to the top of the platform. But usually, if you fall off the edge, you'll have to go back to the last point where you kind of came from. Uh, you'll see me fall off at some point, you'll see it later. Spyro must now charge his breath ability to destroy training dummies. And there's probably going to be four of those as well, yep. Spyro can't actually get hit in this game by like these dummy type things. Uh, like Spyro can take damage but I don't think he can die. Or at least I don't think, that might just be me being weird. Uh, and the last one is up here. I try and use the breath abilities if I can. I don't like charging because I keep falling off. <laughs> Very impressive Spyro and I try jumping. To jump, simply press the A button. Uh, so, okay, we have to jump across here and not fall off. 
my first fail. Simply amazing Spyro. Now try Spyro's glide ability. To glide, press A button twice once to jump and again to glide. Start gliding at the top of a jump to get more distance. Okay, glide over there and torture once you get there. So, as you can see, when Spyro jumps, he has more height when he's in the air. So, if you. Oh, work, that didn't work. So, if you jump at the. If you glide at the top of a jump, it works. And obviously, not if you do that, but, um. It's splendid job, Spyro. Spyro's incredible. Now, Spyro should use Spyro's hover ability. To hover, press the A button while gliding. However, at the very end of a glide, to get one last bit of height and distance. This bit always gets me. This is why I always hate this challenge so much, because it takes me like a hundred attempts to do this. Glide and hover over to there and talk to me when you get there. That we shall do, or at least try to do. Uh, dang it. I might just cut to where I actually do it correctly. Oh, finally that took way too long. Congratulations Spyro! Training is concluded absolutely outstanding. I think the professor needs to tone down the praise in his place just a bit. You can leave the Spyro training area by dropping down to here. Practice makes Spyro perfect. Come back again soon, Spyro. Jeez, I hate that hover jump. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad it's over. I think one of the things about this game is that it's difficult to judge distance. It's difficult to judge how far Spyro away, how far Spyro is from a certain target. So that's probably what makes that last hover jump so painful for me, at least. Anyway, back to the prototyping section, which is where we need to be Professor. Ah, you're back. How did you like my playground? It was really great, Professor. So he says. Anyway, I'm finished. Allow me to show you my latest invention. Oh jeez, that thing looks creepy. Butler, the automated assistant. Wow, looks impressive. What does he do, Professor? Butler's purpose will be to assist me in the lab. Isn't he wonderful? <laughs> Ooh, make him do something. All right then, Butler. Why don't you bring Spyro some milk and cookies? Yes, Professor. Milk and cookies for Spyro. Milk. Beep. Cookies. 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 Oh dear, I think he's malfunctioning. The professor is out of control. Tin him off! He's being possessed by cookies. Alright. Wait! I forgot to install the off switch. I can't turn him off. How do you forget to install an off switch? Some professor. Ah, Spyro, do something! Find a way to shut down this mechanical menace! Oh gosh. Right, what we have to do is kind of. Okay, come over here, come over here. Lure him into this electrical thing if he actually... Hello? If he'll actually follow you, what you have to do is lure him to this um, electrical contraption and he'll get electrocuted. Spar, you did it, but something has happened to the people machine. No longer a people. The hole is getting bigger. Showing our butler must have overloaded the machine. We'll do anything we can hand to help, Professor. Just tell us what to do. Listen very carefully, Sparrow. A heart is an artifact with very special properties, and every land has one. I used the heart of my secret lab to create that people. Now I need the heart from all the other lands to close that giant one. Okay, great, we can do that. How many hearts and where do we find them? There are 12 lands outside this lab, and one unique heart in each one. Right, how do we get out of here? Ah, uh, yes, I have a device that will allow you to walk to any land. It's right over... Are you referring to this? I mean, my warp device? <laughs> it's Ripto! Again, doesn't he ever go on vacation or anything? What do you know? I was just dreaming of a foolproof plan to ruin the world where suddenly an enormous hole leading to the professor's secret lab appears. Out of thin air. Spires is terrible. You must do something quickly. I'm going to bring all my Rhinox to this hole and then warp them throughout all the land. Instant domination. Too easy. Bwahaha. Ripto. Grr, I'm gonna kick you. Okay. Well, so much for that. And it looks like we've been warped to Dragon Shores. Oh no, we've been warped to the Dragon Shores. <laughs> we better track down all the hearts and find our way back to the secret lab. Probably shouldn't have blindfolded us, Professor, but whatever. Hey, I want you to grab one of the Professor's notebooks. I'll use to keep track of our progress. Blah. You can look at it by holding the blah button and pressing blah. 
Okay, so this is Dragon Shores, and I believe this is the first area where we will get missions and stuff. This is the first place where we can obtain our first heart. Anyway, I shall end off this part here. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.